Hey, what is going on, everybody? Jens back with another video for you guys. And today, I'm stoked to deliver this one. Another tier list for you guys. We'll get into what that's going to be about in a moment here. But if you guys like what is going on with this channel, you like things rock and metal related mostly, and all the craziness on this channel, then consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button so it gets out to more viewers just like you. And also consider ringing that notification bell so you guys know when I'm uploading stuff just like this. And, uh... Without further ado, I guess we'll just hop right into the list. Okay, so this list is going to be basically an easy, straightforward ranking. No bueno. They were just absolute trash live. Meh. Very okay live. Pretty solid. A little better than okay. Wonderful. Pretty damn good. But kick ass, this band is just like you just had an experience that you just couldn't describe. Pretty straightforward stuff there. Pretty easy if you ask me. And a lot of these bands are my favorite all-time bands, so... Expect me to say that a few times throughout the video, just so you guys know. And we'll hop into the first one here. It's A7X, which is absolutely one of my favorite all-time bands. With that said, if you guys would like me to make a top 10 favorite all-time bands list, then let me know down in the comment section and by hitting that like button as well. So we have A7X. I've seen them live three times. I've seen them in Wilkes-Barre, PA. I've seen them in... Bristow, Virginia, and in Columbus, Ohio for Rock on the Range. And none of the three times with the Rev, sadly, there's nothing that we can do about that. Fortunately, his passing, there's no control over that. Uh, but I wouldn't I wouldn't say anything lower than probably kick ass. They sound like the record live and maybe not the best energy, but they sound like the record live and they look like they're still having fun. So They'll go to kick ass, and it's been since 2014 since I've seen him, so I would really like to see him again. So, you know, it could it could go down, and any of these bands too, also, by the way, they could go up at any point too if I go to see them live again and they impress me more. So we got to show you. I've seen them live three times, twice in 2010 on Mayhem Fest. I went twice that year, yes. I might have mentioned that before in some tier videos or reaction videos, but... uh. And I saw them, and I think it was 2015 or 16 at a launch fest thingy. And uh, they were really good all three times. I wouldn't say absolutely kick-ass if we're talking about in the sense of, like, superiority. And unfortunately, I missed their set at Trinity Terror about a month ago. But I would say wonderful. Okay, and speaking of Trinity Terror tour, I've seen these guys twice this year alone, both on Trinity of Terror Part 2 and then Part 3. It was that aforementioned show with the Treyu a month ago was was last time I seen them. And I've seen BVB probably live, I want to say, probably around 10 times now. I've seen them everywhere, man. I mean, I've seen them in Maryland. I've seen them in Pennsylvania a bunch of times. I've seen them in California a couple of times. BVB, yeah. And of course, if I've seen these guys multiple times, I will kind of just, it's a combined experience kind of thing, like what I've thought of them combined they kick ass every time i really cannot complain honestly they bring it every single time um yeah yeah there's a little bit of a mess up sometimes you know i've seen them a bunch of times the more times you're gonna see a band obviously that's more times to see them maybe like mess up but nobody's perfect live so let's try to reserve our judgments a little bit so bring me horizon this is a band i've seen only live once it was warped toward 2013 and I'm going to say that this was actually a really kick-ass performance again. I mean, we got a lot of kick-ass bands. Um, you know, just the way all these skies, or was it always skis? I can never, I think it's always skies. That the way he brings it live. I mean, they came out with Shadow Moses, which is one of my favorite all-time songs by them. Separate Tunnel is still my favorite album by them, by the way. And if you want me to do like a review or ranking on that sometime, again, let me know down in the comment section what you think of that. Yeah, he comes out just... I think he started out in the crowd. He started like on their shoulders. And that was so fucking cool. And they just, their energy is chaotic. Yeah. I, I, I need to go see this band live again because I'm even a bigger fan of them now than I was in 2013. I don't know why I don't go to see them live more, but anyway, we got skate the fate. Another band I've seen a ton of times. We're probably pushing 10 times. They've seen this band. I've seen this band in California. Even I've seen them in Maryland. I've seen them in, Pennsylvania, just like Black Belt Brides, um, one of my favorite all-time bands. Uh, I would say top 10 easily, probably. I'm going to put them in Wonderful. I don't think they're quite at the kick-ass level, but they're they're pretty they're pretty fun to go see live. Um, 
yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I, I don't put them kick ass. I guess, I guess there's just not quite enough going on with the presentation, I guess. But they, the music sounds really good live. They have decent energy live, so I'll put them in a wonderful. Eternal Frequency. Um, what do I think of them live? I would say somewhere between kick ass and wonderful. I'll just go with wonderful. Um, I just don't think that their performances are quite on the level of these guys yet, but they're, you know, especially for a band that's still considered local, they're getting really close. So, but for a local band, I would say kick ass, but just overall wonderful. So that's still a really good ranking to be in. And we got Falling Reverse, and this is a band I think I've seen four times. The first time I saw them was on Warp, so I believe 15 maybe. And I've seen them with Black Veil one time. I've seen them this summer with Papa Roach and Hollywood and Dead, which we'll get to Hollywood and Dead in a moment here. Yeah, I can't I can't say anything less than kick ass. And by the way, I actually have uh, tickets to go see the second leg of that tour. The Skate the Fate's going to be opening. Hollywood and Dead's going to be the next band up. And then Papa Roach, who I forgot to add to this list, is going to be, I believe, the... Uh, headliner or co-headliner with falling reverse so i'm going to be seeing them again but kick ass every time they just i don't know it's just ronnie he's just such a theatrical good performer and yeah he just brings it every time the emotionality that he puts into the songs is just kick ass the rest of the band kind of is mundane with their stage performance but i think ronnie's enough to make it kick ass in my honest opinion and then uh, i got guns and roses this is another rock on the range 2014 band as well columbus ohio uh and that was the only time i seen them live they played like three hours i would say probably just wonderful i had a great great fucking time but one of the things that absolutely killed it was i saw rose's voice wasn't as good it was starting to get to that point where or it might have been already at that point where it was like really whiny live and they played Knocking on Heaven's Door for like 10 minutes straight. They played that bridge over and over and over again. So that's what probably brings it out of the kick-ass tier level. But they were still really fun to see live, I would say. And they had a lot of energy and a lot of excitement. So that they're going to go into Wonderful. And then we got Hollywood and Dead next, I mentioned earlier. And I'll be going to see them again soon as well. And uh, I would say... I would say wonderful. I'm just like, I like Hollywood and Dead. I like their energy live. I think they sound good live, but I'm just not like a big, big Hollywood and Dead fan. You know what I mean? I'm not like, you know, a fan of them in the sense of like BVB or like Escape to Fade or like Falling Reverse or uh, Avenged Sevenfold or like Goes of Roses. So that's probably why they go in the wonderful for me. I don't know why otherwise. And then we got uh, non rock or metal one here i think it's the only one that's not rock or metal uh lady gaga now i wasn't in hershey park stadium to actually see her like inside but i was outside of it so i could kind of see in a little bit i could see mostly the screen so i figured i was there in person technically so i'll consider this one uh i'm gonna say kick ass just from my experience uh next time i'm gonna make sure that i actually get to like see her more properly but I had a blast like her charisma and her energy and her just voice is just so good live. Like she sounds perfect live. I can't express that anymore. Her energy, like her dance moves. Oh man. It, it's a show, man. Like the presentation whew, worth every penny. If, if I actually spent the money, it would have been. Then we got one of my favorite bands of all time. Again, uh, Motionless and White. I just seen them live, of course, because of Trinidad Terror. I mentioned BVB and uh, Trey U even. And uh, yeah, I think I th I've seen them four times. I first saw them on, what was it? Reckless Fest 2013 with Asking and Xandria, Seven Dust, All That Remains was on it. There was a lot of good bands. I think Atello was on it. Then I saw them on Warp Tour and then, of course, Trinity Tear. And yeah, kick, kick ass every single fucking time, especially the last two times I've seen them. Even better. Yeah, you, you can't go wrong with Most Just White. They sound like the record live, their presentation, their theatrics, just incredible. They just, you know, uh, Chris Motionless is a great front man. He doesn't seem to try too hard. He just does his thing, just goes up there, does it. And then we got the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. And this is like an old, like, emo band, I guess you could say, rock band, whatever. 
I sent them only once. It was at the Crocodile Rock. Rest in peace, Crocodile Rock. And they were playing with my friends in I Heroes. Well, I should say I Heroes was opening for them. That was the main reason I went. But it was like, cool to see Rock Jump. So I just because I do enjoy some of their music. But I'm just going to say, meh, live. Ronnie, his vocals were just kind of like, eh. He wasn't really hitting the notes. Wasn't really giving a lot of effort. The band's energy and chemistry was kind of just a little bit off. I'm not going to say they were trash because they weren't bad live. But it was just very, very meh, if I got to be honest with you guys. And then we're going into the band that made me want to play music. So obviously one of my favorite all-time bands. We're going to go with that theme again. I have a poster on my wall back there of them, if you can see it or not. I don't know, but it's back there. I saw them only once in my life so far. It really is sad that I, it has taken me almost to the age of 30 to see Slipknot. And I've only seen them once. I'm really almost, honestly, I'm just really disappointed I haven't seen them more. And uh, I'm, they're getting nothing less than a kick-ass. I thought I was seeing like the coming of Christ or the second coming, whatever they call that god themselves you know like so yeah they're gonna get kick ass and then we got steel panther they're a band i've only seen once i saw them at hmac about a year ago and at the time i only knew a handful of their songs and uh that made that show that i want to go to that made me a way bigger fan you get like a comedy show and a kick-ass rock show in one you can't really complain i was laughing the whole time throwing my fist up in the air they sound great. They're absolutely stellar musician. Satchel can really shred. He's and he can get really technical on the guitar. And then Michael Starr, his pitch live is really good. Musically, just yeah, really funny band and just yeah, musically just really gifted. Uh, they're gonna get kick ass for me because seeing them live made me a bigger fan, and that counts for something. And then we got Sleep on the Sirens. They're a band I'm not like a major fan of, but I do enjoy some of their music. And I saw them at Warp Tour. I believe it was the same year I saw Bringing the Horizon. I believe I could be wrong. I've gone to Warp Tour three times, so I could be getting bands mixed up. But I'm just going to say they were just kind of solid live, if I'm being honest. I, I mean, I guess kind of like pretty solid and mech could kind of go together if you really think about it. But I felt like they were a little stronger than Red Jump Super Apparatus live, if you ask me. That's just my opinion, but I wasn't like blown away by their performance or anything. Kellen Quinn's voice wasn't as good live, but it wasn't horrible. Yeah, so we'll just go with pretty solid, I guess. And that's pretty much it, guys. And if you want to make a list of your own, and if you've seen any of these bands live, um, if you want to make your own criteria, you at least saw them on YouTube or something like that, then I will leave a link down below for you guys. And I would love to hear in the comment section what you guys think of my list as well. You can make your own tier list in the comment section too if you want. I must add too. And uh, of course, guys, uh, I really appreciate all the support. I'll be doing a, you know, the Twitch stream Tuesday at 6 o'clock East Coast time as well with live band reactions. So I would love your guys' suggestions. I'll leave all my links down below for you guys as well. So if you guys want to send me a message with your request, I will gladly queue it for you guys. And I hope to see you guys on the next upload and on the next Twitch stream, guys. All right, you guys, we'll... See you later.